Happy Friday, everyone. I am here to show you a quick tutorial on how to make frames for your videos. So I use Final Cut Pro to edit, but I also have iMovie on my Mac. So I'm gonna show you on both editing softwares how to make a frame. And on Final Cut Pro, there is an option, just a ready-made frame that you drag and drop, and you can customize the color and a little bit of the depth to it, but not very much. It's still, even as big as you make the frame, it's still so small and narrow that text is tiny. So I figured out how to make a frame on both Canva and PicMonkey, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very easy. I like PicMonkey just a little bit better than Canva. I've been kind of comparing both of those and I just canceled my Canva subscription, but I do have it for a few more days. So I'm gonna show you how to do it on both of those. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. It's just like the little frame that goes around and people will end up putting text of there, like maybe the day of the week or the task that they're doing. So I really like the way that it looks. Um, and it just took me a little while to figure it out, but once I figured it out, it's just super, super simple. So I'm gonna get into it and I'm gonna show you again on Final Cut Pro iMovie with both PicMonkey and Canva. Okay, so we're starting on PicMonkey, create new blank canvas. Then scroll all the way down until you get to 1080p HD video. Then you're just going to select the color and transparent. Then just go to graphics and I chose design, but you can choose a lot of different areas. There are just lines is basically all you're looking for. So I selected this, it's kind of a wispy little line. Just use these arrows to pull it so that it makes it the right length of the top of your rectangle. Then you're just gonna copy and paste and pull it to the bottom part of your rectangle. Copy and paste, then use these little arrows to make it a vertical. And then you're gonna just do that for both the left and the right side. I just wanted to show you that you can make the borders any color you want. Then just go up and download and your frame is done. For the purposes of time, I show you just a couple more examples which you can slow down if you wanna look at them. But basically I just showed you a solid frame or if you wanted to use like tape or different textures. Now on to Canva. Create a design, type in YouTube, and then go down to YouTube intro. From here I go on to elements and then I just type in line. Now you can just scroll through. There's all kinds of lines here. You can also make it so that you just see the free versions and you just pick whatever you like. I selected this little line because I liked that it had a label look to it. So once I had it stretched out, I used the command C to copy and then command V to paste. I didn't want the label to be showing on any other sides. So I just, you can just stretch it out and customize it however you want. And this left side was covering. So I right clicked, send to back, copied and pasted and voila. I changed colors, went back to elements, found a pretty little flower, sized it, made it white, stuck it in the corner, just so you could see a couple of things you can do with your frames. Now this is important. You can go to publish or straight to download. You have to hit transparent background so only your frames will show up. Once again, I wanted to show you another option for what Canva has to offer. And if you want to follow along, just slow this part down. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on Final Cut Pro first. So I have the Final Cut Pro project pulled up and then I pull my frame that's in the downloads folder. As you can see, once you move through it, it is a perfect frame. Then I just went up to titles and pulled something out so you guys could see how you can just move the titles around on your frame. So I just selected typewriter and pulled it over to my frame and sized it. 
pulled the text to the top of the frame, put the best band ever in, and made the text larger. Then I went to my downloads folder and dragged and dropped a typewriter text sound. I just wanted to show you how to make frames within Final Cut Pro. So just go over to the effects presets frame in the search bar and then just pull this frame over to whichever section you want. Then you can go to type and use the drop down to see which kind of frame that you'd like. You got a couple of options, however I have the size at 100% so the frame will get no larger than this. Okay, we'll stick with this frame. I'll pull a basic title down to my little frame box and then I'm going to size it so that it's just where the frame is. I'm going to put in the name of another great band and then I'm going to go down to 3D text and select that and if you scroll down a little further you can have a few more options as to what kind of text you want. After you have that clear you can pull your text down to wherever you want it in your frame. Here's what it looks like in motion. Now I'm going to show you how to make the frames on iMovie. So I've got my project, I go to backgrounds, and I pull out a background. The important thing is to get your background underneath your project. Next you're going to click on your project and then go onto video overlays, select this and go to picture in picture. Now you're just going to pull out your project until you have as much border as you want on the four sides. And there you have it, a border. Now, if you wanna add text to the frame on iMovie, you're gonna to have to go to Pick Monkey or Canva. Go to Blank Canvas, go all the way down to YouTube Cover, and select that. On iMovie, you can't place text wherever you want, from what I understand. So this is a way of getting around that little issue. So I'm gonna to go to textures and select this pretty one, apply. Then I'm gonna to go to text and I'm gonna select a text that I want. For my text, I'm just gonna put in another great band that I'm gonna size it to fit. And then I'm just gonna do some effects to make it look a little bit cooler. And then place it and download it. Then I'm just going to go to downloads and I'm going to drag and drop the one that I used. Again, this needs to go underneath the project. I immediately noticed that the text was moving as it went along and I figured out why. The project was picture in picture just like when we used the plain background and that was right. However, the text kept moving. I just selected the background template and put fit instead of Ken Burns the Ken Burns was what was making it move. So now you can see that the text stays still. I highlighted the project again just so that I could work with the dimensions just a tad and here's how it turned out. So there it is. If you guys have any questions just put it in the comments box below or if there are things that you don't know how to do with editing and you'd like a tutorial about it also drop that in the comments section below. Um, you can find me on Instagram, and if this video was helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you. Okay, have a great day. Bye.